Hey everyone, so it's looking more and more like the implementation of NFTs into mainstream AAA video games is not something we're going to be able to avoid. It seems like developers are intent on pushing ahead and implementing NFTs into products because they see it as the natural evolution of loot boxes, the gotcha game casino economics, the microtransactions that have been pushed into video games over the last 10 years or so. Why I wanted to talk about this topic is because if there is one thing I feel very strongly about in the negative way, it's goddamn NFTs. I think they are absolutely horrible. And there was a recent interview with a Ubisoft executive uh, talking to, I think, Polygon initially. And there was just a brilliant quote, which I was like, when I saw this, I had to talk about this whole topic. So the Strategic Innovation Lab lead at Ubisoft, Nicholas Pollard, said, the end game is about giving players the opportunity to resell their items once they're finished with them or they're finished playing the game itself. So it's really for them. It's really beneficial, but they don't get it for now. Now there is a choice quote for you to kick off 2022. This is one of the most condescending things I've ever heard. Oh, you're idiots. You just don't get it. Really, we're doing this for you. Believe us. We've helped you so much over the last 10 years and have done everything for you, definitely not to maximize our profits. You just don't understand NFTs. Clearly, yeah, nobody except crypto bros understand NFTs and nobody understands any of the fundamental issues with them. Before we get deeper into this topic, if you do like this video and do enjoy this type of content, make sure to give this video a like, comment as well your opinions and make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. But before we go in and analyze NFTs themselves in video games, let's talk about them in a wider context and the, some of the fundamental issues that they present. I know this has been covered a million times before, but I wanted to give my two cents. I mean, I'm never going to top the folding ideas video uh, that was recently released. I think if there's ever been a definitive summary on crypto and NFTs, it's going to be that video. In my view, the biggest issue with the whole NFT ecosystem is that eventually, when everything collapses, there are going to be the last suckers who are stuck holding them. Essentially, everybody is working towards not being that last sucker. And unfortunately, just because of the way things are set up and how pyramid scheming the whole thing is, there will be those people. Secondly, and this relates a little bit to video games at this point, is that in my opinion, NFTs completely devalue any art and completely remove anything meaningful out of any art product. Crypto bros do not see anything in the art itself. The only thing they see is speculation and getting rich quick. And I'm afraid that video games have been getting more and more generic and less creative. When you introduce NFTs and you introduce all the crypto bros who will be speculating off of that, it's going to devalue the minimal artistic value video games have even more. The other thing I'm concerned about is that there will be even less game. I mean, you guys probably know the trend the last couple of years. More and more games are moving towards open world grind fests, where the only objective is to push you to buy season passes, content passes, DLCs, and microtransactions. These open world grind fests are the perfect setup for pushing towards the play to earn narrative. Play to earn is another one of these terms that is driving me absolutely crazy. It's another push towards removing the fun out of video games. Oh yeah, you're, you're not meant to play video games to have fun or be competitive or learn a new skill, get better. No, you're playing to earn. And listen, the realistic thing is that nobody will actually get meaningfully rich from play to earn games. Or I should rephrase, no ordinary person will ever get meaningfully rich from play to earn games. There are going to be already rich assholes uh, who are already thriving in the crypto and NFT market who will probably be able to make some dough off of the Ubisoft or whatever else NFTs. However, for the average person, for the average gamer, this is absolutely a closed market. Talking about the wider context, another issue with NFTs and crypto is that Anybody who already could have gotten rich from them has pretty much gotten rich from them. 
uh, nobody really is entering the space now who isn't already rich as hell and doesn't have tens of thousands of dollars to burn with really no consequence to themselves if they lose all of that money. Finally, for the games itself, the whole system is still going to rely on a few rich whales who are keeping the whole thing alive. AAA video games pretty much already do that. Uh, there's so much reliance on the whales and it's not going to be any different. NFTs are going to be used to sucker people in, but mainly to sucker the whales in to spend money. But going back to the quote from this Ubisoft executive, again, it's one of the most condescending things I think a major game publisher has ever said towards the players. The idea that people are not fully aware of NFTs is really something that is just being pushed. People are fully aware of NFTs and what they mean and what they do. It's just nobody wants it in their video games. But really, if you look at this guy, all you have to do is look a little bit into his history to realize that this is someone who has worked with blockchain and crypto for years. So probably he has thousands of dollars invested in actual cryptocurrencies. And for someone like this, the idea that people do not want any of this shit in their entertainment products is probably unfathomable. The term crypto evangelist really is fitting because a crypto evangelist is never going to see the negatives of the whole system. Secondly, this whole article, this quote and this attitude really highlights to me, I think, how little attention the mainstream video game industry actually pays to any meaningful feedback. They just simply do not care. They know that they have managed to push their loot boxes, their microtransactions, their casino games, basically without any consequence over the last couple of years. And they sure as hell know that they will be able to push NFTs through as well. Basically, there are always going to be enough people who simply don't care. Many of the mainstream AAA video games have tens of millions of people playing them. There might be a few people in the know who will be protesting, who will be freaking out on social media about something like NFTs, but the simple unfortunate fact is that the majority of people won't care. And gaming companies are fully aware of this. People will be annoyed, they might lose a couple of thousands of players, but in the end they will be able to push their thing through, in the end they will be able to brute force their NFTs through, and in the end they will be able to make mad money off of this. Personally, I've never felt more apathetic towards the mainstream video game industry. I've really been like this over the past year, two years. I've been very critical of the whole thing before as well, but all of this shit with the NFTs and the general attitude they're taking towards average players has basically proven to me that they do not give a fuck, which has been the case for many, many years at this point. Listen, I've stayed away from AAA mainstream video games for quite a while now. Honestly, I think I can count on one hand how many games I bought the last year, and even most of those have been indie products, aside from a couple of new games I bought for PS5. And honestly, I am not going to change this for the upcoming period. I'm going to be very, very selective on what video games I buy. Obviously stuff like Elden Ring, fighting games and all that, which are close to my heart, I will be purchasing. Although I think I can probably make a version of this video for fighting games alone, because if there is a genre of video games that are absolutely horrible with their microtransactions and everything, it's probably fighting games. I think it just comes down to, again, being very selective, which is a shame because this industry has and had a lot of potential. It's just people are only seeing the bottom line and they are willing to disregard anything to get to that bottom line. It is sad that this industry has come to this, but I think at this point there is very little we can do. The whole ecosystem has simply outgrown itself and there are so many casuals, which is not a bad thing. You know, don't take this as me saying this as a criticism, but there are so many just average people playing video games who do not stay up to date on any of the things going on, that everything the companies are trying to push will be pushed through. I don't see any sort of meaningful pushback, aside from, again, a couple of thousand people screaming on Twitter uh, in the upcoming future. It's kind of sad that it's been like this, but hey, what can you do?